What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is this guy that game and welcome back to Fallout 4. Now last time we left off, we just confronted Kellogg, kind of uh, killed him, so that, that happened. But today we need to continue on with the mission, I believe the mission is called Reunions. So that is what we're going to do, we need to head back to Diamond City to go talk to Piper about it because it was such a big deal. Uh, but basically before we this loading screen ends... Uh, if the recording looks a little bit like off from usual, that is because I'm using a new recording software. It is OBS. Um, I generally don't like to record with this, but my other recording software isn't working correctly. Anytime I try to record with it, I drop to like 11 frames after like two or three minutes of recording. So sadly, uh, that recording software is either going to have to be uninstalled or reinstalled. I don't know yet. So we're going to have to deal with this for now. It's all I have. DX story doesn't like to work, and I can't use Shadowplay because the graphics card I'm using for this recording is absolute trash. So I do apologize beforehand if some wow. stuff seems off. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? Yes. So. You two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? No story. To where to begin? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. I know, exactly. but I'm not allowed to spoil it because this is a playthrough. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Uh, yeah, ab about him. About him man like that would have had access in and out he's kind of dead that angle isn't going to work oh sarcastic of course we can talk to him feel like holding a seance <laughs> yeah, only so a um, murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parents huh be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the commonwealth to solve hmm I had no choice, though. He wasn't going to talk, even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Hmm. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Let's try it. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. Let's go for it. Why not? A piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Well, luckily for us, we got some brain. I'm going to need a really sharp ice cream scoop. <laughs> I'm sure you'll manage. I love the sarcastic this responses in this game. Not, we can all go running across the Commonwealth, so who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Now, I've taken Piper every other time, so I think I'm going to take Nick. It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're going to get you a boy Hey, back. level up. Just a few more steps. Well, you two are out. I'm going to do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. All righty. Cool, cool, cool. And we got a level up, so that's awesome. Um, I think we're going to go with toughness, maybe? What else do we have? Oh, wait. Hey, we have a new armor perk. Yeah, I'll take that one. I like the armor and stuff. And actually, we might head back to Sanctuary to see if we can upgrade a little bit. 
I gotta place all my stuff in storage anyway, so before we head over to Good Neighbor, which is located right down here, so we'll probably travel to Park Street Station and just go around the corner, but quickly, let's go see if we can go to Sanctuary. Even good. Oh, sorry, I cut you off, Nick. My bad, I didn't mean to cut you off there. That was Flamer. It's pretty neat. It's a pretty neat Flamer. But, uh, let's see, hopefully we can upgrade our weapons a little bit more. I'm not, we didn't just get gun nuts, so probably not, but at least we can upgrade a little armor a little bit. But we also de do need to drop off our junk. I cannot speak today I'm either. Run some diagnostics while you're tinkering. Hmm. Take your time. All right, so let's see. Oh, maybe we can. Advanced receiver, there we go, look at that, there. Advanced receiver is looking pretty good. Uh, do we want superior recoil or hip fire and recoil? I think we're gonna do long light porter barrel. Sharpshooter's grip, best we can get. Let's get the large mag. Reflex sight, I like the reflex sight. And let's also get a suppressor on that. Because I like the suppressor. Not bad, not bad. It's looking pretty good. Now we can upgrade our sniper as well. I think we're gonna hold off on the heavy frame real quick. Let's just make it a little bit better. What does this do? Superior recoil, range, and sighted accuracy, poor hip fire. I don't really care about hip fire on a rifle like this. Let's get that marksman stock to make it look badass. Oh, we can't get the large quick eject. We can get the medium. Standard sights. Let's get a scope on that. How about a long scope? It should be good. And we need gun nut three for a suppressor. I don't think I want anything on there. Now we can mess with this. Let's get a powerful receiver. Or a calibrated powerful. Let's get the calibrated powerful. That looks pretty nice. And now our sniper rifle is beefed out. How's this doing? We can upgrade that to a four. I think we're going to hold off on that for just now. Or four now. Can we do this? Shielded barrel. Superior range, better recoil, narrow spread. I'd like the narrow spread, honestly. So I think we're going to go with a long barrel. Really coming together, huh? Let's do a marksman stock. A drum mag. Ooh. Uh, it's tough to say. It's tough to say. Hmm. The choice is the choice. Let's go with a... Let's go with a drum mag. Why not? Can it wait? And I think that's all we can do for now because we don't have enough supplies. So that'll be that. Oh, where's the armor station? There it is. I forgot like I moved stuff on my other playthrough. I have a house here and it's all up there. So uh, I think this is the best it can go. Can't really. Well, I don't think we can do anything because I don't have any adhesives. So never mind. This was kind of pointless, but whatever. But, uh, hey, we upgraded our pistol. We have no fucking ammo for it, though. Uh, there's our melee weapon. Pipe pistol. Should probably upgraded that a little bit, but oh well. Where's our shotgun? No, I don't want to use that. We have a combat shotgun now, right? Yeah, heavy combat shotgun. Let's put that at five, right? Five? There we go. I don't really care about the knee kappa. It's not really needed. All right, now we can uh, move on. Go to good neighbor. Uh, can I not fast travel here? There we go. It wasn't letting me click it for some reason. All right, you can make the window disappear. Free your mind. Hmm. Looks like um the what's it called from Fallout Three. In Vault 112, I can't remember the name of them. Like the pods you sit in, the virtual reality thing. It's what it looks like. Except more high tech. And more comfortable. That chair looks looks pretty darn comfortable. There's no feet rest though. I, I don't think I could do that. I guess I shouldn't say I can't do that because I'm sitting in a chair without a foot rest. So I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, where is this? At? Oh yeah, this is uh, this is where we rescued Nick. What's up, Nick? All right, so good neighbor is this way. Some ghouls here, I think. Yep. Here we 
we go. Oh, not not the leg, not the leg, just the torso. Sorry, folks, won't be chewing on us. All right, I am out of ammo for that. I should I should have probably bought ammo over at Diamond City, but oh well. I think we could do just fine without it. Let's grab all this stuff. Old Granary. Bearing ground. What's here? Hey, there's a Ritter here. Or Gunner, never mind. What does he have? Hey, 10 millimeter rounds. I'll take them. I don't really want either of those, though. What the hell? There's an explosion going on over there. T shirt and slacks. Don't really need it. Radmo. Radro. Dude, I cannot fucking speak. It's so funny because, like, whenever I'm not recording, I can speak perfectly fine. But when I decide to record, it's like I, I jumble every word. Man, this pistol is super shit. I don't think I've upgraded this whatsoever, so that is a little bit my fault. Do we have any Molotovs? Oh, we have frag grenades. We don't have any Molotovs, though. Hmm. Well, let's use the Righteous Authority. This should do a little bit more damage. If I wasn't missing, why am I so bad at this game? Can someone please explain to me why I'm so bad? Actually, please don't, because then you're going to make me feel like shit. But I did ask for it, and I, I probably deserve it, so it's okay. I want you guys to do, like, a BuzzFeed thing in the comments. Be like, five reasons why this guy, that game, is shit at the game. Number five will surprise you. So that does more energy damage, but I think I'm going to try to go for more ballistic damage. I think that's what we're going to do. Mongrel meat, nice. Did I miss anything over here? There's like a backside here. Oh, hey, medical supplies. I'll take those. I'll take that desk fan for the screws. Lord knows I need those. Radioactive gland? What is that? Nuclear material? Let's take that. Hell yeah. There's a door here. Come on. There we go. That's it. Stop going around corners. There we go. Let's do a little VATS action on this guy just to get our crit up. I think it's the best part about the Righteous Authority is those, those crits just charge up. I know somebody was telling me they did like a luck build where they would just use this gun and their crits would be stacked. And there's that also there's also that skill that stacks the crits. What does this assault gas mask do? Better radiation? I don't really care for that. That might actually be useful later, but not right now.